Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today we're doing a final walkthrough of my client's brand new home over here in Castellana by Taylor Morrison over at the Red Point Village. Um, they were actually one of the first people to buy in this community last year and they are finally able to close. It was done being built probably, I would say in January. However, this whole community just finally got electrical from Nevada Power with the power boxes. So now they can finally move into their home. So over here in Castellana, there's I think four different models, but this one in particular is called the Sequoia. And this one has 2662 square feet. It could have four to six bedrooms and two and a half to three and a half bathrooms. This one in particular has the full bedroom downstairs. So it has five bedrooms. We're gonna take a tour of the garage, the outside perimeters, and then go inside and take a look. So obviously when you buy new construction anywhere in the Las Vegas Valley, your front yard is always gonna come landscaped. I really like this elevation too with a little patio and then that little awning, um, very nice elevation. So front yard's landscape, backyard is not. Let's go look. And then it also comes with the nice paver driveway and walkway. So this is a finished garage. Now with Taylor Morrison, what they're doing nowadays is, is creating what's called spec homes. So you really don't have the option of choosing what's gonna go in your home. You are just pretty much, if you want this home, you're stuck with what was selected by the designers. So you have your sprinkler system. Nice thing is, it's a tankless water heater, plumb for a water softener, and then the door to the side of the backyard. And then you also have your main water line, and then this is for your fire sprinklers. So let's go in the backyard. That is for your sprinkler main water line, your gas line, pest control for ants and bugs and stuff the electrical panel, the TV, and also the internet. So I like that the side gate is behind the fence where you can possibly store your trash cans here. And I like this because it's a south backyard with a north front. I like having south backyards because of the sun is always in the backyard. Um, the back of the house, which is the main house, will always be uh, bright and airy. So this is actually a good sized yard. Shoot, I forgot. I always do this. Why do I have to wear my booties out? <laughs> it's a nice covered patio, huge yard. I don't know how many square foot or feet this lot is, but I like the size of the lot. Then you have two Linux um, AC units. It's also Plum 4 gas right there. Let's go take a peek inside. Nice thing is that you could have other extra lighting or a ceiling, ceiling fans up there. I don't remember how much the HOA is for this community. It is a gated community. I do know that Summerlin West HOA dues are $55 a month. I don't remember how much Costalana HOA dues are. You can always go to my website at summerlincommunities.com to check it out. Let's go to the front. And I really, really love this little patio in the front. And the nice thing is they actually have strip views from this patio which we discovered today. This is a great elevation with a beautiful green door. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're gonna have unobstructed, right here from their patio, strip views. Isn't that awesome? Or is that strip or is that downtown? I can't tell. That's pretty cool. And I love this elevation, the coloring, the charcoal gray. Has a nice um, smart lock. So when we do final walkthroughs, obviously we'll go through and you know find any errors that there are, blue tape, um, 
for the most part, this was a very good walkthrough. There's just, uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see some speckles there that they needed to fix. But I like this, it has this nice deep closet right here. So again, when you buy a Taylor Morrison home, for the most part, you will rarely be able to pick your options. And the reason they do this is that they will order and pick everything for you by the, their design team. That way the home can be built a little faster. So this was all selected by the design team, which is very nice, it's very neutral. Um, it could go either gray or that the tan color route. So again, this is the Sequoia model. There's the entrance to the garage. In the model home, they had the dining room right here in the middle. And then you also have your stairs right here. I like this door, it's very nice, very modern. So when we come through, we test all the appliances, open all the windows, the plumbing, we test everything. And then they have until next week to get everything taken care of. And we close in this bad boy next week. I actually like these brown cabinets. It's very neutral. It looks a lot lighter than in the photo. And then they got the white quartz countertops. So let me just pan around this whole room. And they also have the tubing, or the smart tubing for hanging your TV. It's wired for a ceiling fan. I like this tile. Nice size island. Also pre-wired for three pendants right there. The nice big tub seat or tub basin. I uh, can't speak today. Big sink. <laughs> Now, when you buy new construction, typically the refrigerator, washer and dryer do not come with the home. So this model either is with a den or a full bathroom, depending on how Taylor Morrison will spec it out. Luckily, my clients looked out and this is with a full bedroom downstairs and a full bathroom. Otherwise, it would be just a half bath and a den. And all the rooms are pre-wired for ceiling fans. So this is a decent office. I would say, or a guest room. It's always nice to have a home that has the downstairs bedroom. It's a great selling feature. Nice selection in the carpet as well. So to the right, you're gonna have your laundry room. It's a good size laundry room. And then upstairs has four bedrooms. So to the right, you have the second bedroom. I think this is the smallest besides the downstairs bedroom out of the other two guest bedrooms. Has a nice loft area. It's a little dark on this side. Then you have a bedroom here and a bedroom there. So this one is seems like a very good size. And because of the way it's laid out in the other home, this room will be a little darker than the rest of the rooms, which I actually like having dark bedrooms. Then you also have this bedroom, which is much brighter and is also a very good size. And then we have the guest bathroom. Same flooring, cabinetry. This is a cultured marble. And then the standard shower insert. These are pretty cabinets. And then here is the primary. It also has the TV set up here. This is a very good size primary bedroom as well. It has four can lights and then wired for the ceiling fan. Then you have beautiful views of Red Rock right here. These are gonna be unobstructed views because everything's built right that way. You have Far Hills right over here on this road is Far Hills. 
And so, yeah, it's beautiful out. And then the primary um, bathroom, and this is very common to have the spa-like shower, or it would be, the standard would be a shower with a tub insert. I'm not a fan of this big shower, but a lot of people like it. Then this is an upgraded cultured marble, which is very nice. It looks very cool. It looks very unique. Oh, and it matches nicely with the cabinets. And then I like the shower, the tile that was selected, and the honeycomb. And the reason we have the yellow is because it doesn't look like they clean the grout as well. So that's going to get fixed. And then the primary closet. So this is again to surmise the Sequoia model over here in Castellana by Taylor Morrison in the Red Point Village. It's 2662 square feet with five bedrooms, this model in particular, and it has one, two, three full baths and a two car garage, tankless water heater. I have another client that's buying the Jupiter, I think, Juniper model. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in buying new construction or resale homes in the Summerlin area, I'm your Summerlin expert. I know everything and anything there is to know about Summerlin. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Let me know what you think of this floor plan. I actually like it a lot. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, folks.